Now you might be used to me doing uh, vlogs at, at men's games, uh, but I don't often do them at the women's games. So I'm going to put that right tonight. Uh, not everybody watching around the world might even be aware that City have a women's team. They're in the last 32 of the Champions League tonight, already 3-0 up from the first leg against an Austrian team called St Paulton. So it should be a relatively straightforward game. It's out down here at the Academy Stadium. I'm going to pop in there in a minute. I'm also going to see if there's anybody around who's in the corporate side there and see what they've got to say about the game. So let's start there. Uh, we actually, from our branch at the Heroes, of which I'm chairman, uh, we run uh, a coach to all the ladies away games. So anyone interested, uh, they're quite welcome to contact the Heroes. And we do cheat travel down for all the ladies games to the away games. That is uh, when Sergio Aguero signed your arm and you had it tattooed on. So just show me the other arm. Yeah. I'm just wondering if there's room for Izzy Christensen <laughs> and that to become a tattoo as well. Oh, well, maybe if they won the uh, Champions League or something like that, maybe. But uh, no, that was just... You heard it here first. That, yeah, that, that <laughs> tattoo of Sergi's was... Uh, I'd always said that because of what happened uh, in 2012, that if I ever come anywhere near him that I'd ask him to do that and put the 9320 on it for me and I was in LA I was with him and uh, again. he signed way around, isn't it? Yeah. 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 and he signed it and popped the 9320 uh, on it for me so I went straight to the tattooist in LA and so I you're tattooed. telling me if City win the league is it Christiansen's going on the Champions League Champions League yeah not the league okay so. Enjoy the game. Thanks very much. Cheers, Ian. Thank you. So he was interesting, wasn't he? So let's now find out if there's anybody outside who can enlighten me a little bit as to what to expect tonight from this game. Because it looks as if it's already a foregone conclusion, is it? You don't want to say so, you know, you don't want to eat your words or anything. But I think 3 0 from the first leg, you know, we're looking good, really good this season. So I think, you know, a good, uh, good win tonight, 4 5 0. Last season, the ladies got all the way through to the semi finals of this competition. Yeah, lost the Leon, yeah. They're getting better all the time. Do you think they could win it this time? I think so, yeah. I mean, a bit unfortunate we lost Lucy Bronze to Leon, so obviously now they're a better team. But yeah, we're looking good. Uh, Bayern Munich are out now, of course, because uh, Chelsea knocked them out. So I think we can beat Chelsea on our day. So L team's left in. I reckon we can do it. I think it's so underestimated by men in particular. They think women can't play football, but you really need to come and watch. Can you play football? No, oh, no, I was a runner. <laughs> Runner. Yeah. You're not doing much running now, no. but you stick, will you? No. <laughs> no. But I bet you wish you could have played in Oh, a team definitely like now, definitely, yeah. If I could have played football, I would have won to pay for these, definitely. How do you feel about the way that, that sport generally is changing in football in particular, which is now favouring women a lot more, isn't it? Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, let's say I've come from a running background, which it wasn't discriminating against, but football does. And there are some clubs that are still discriminating against the women. No, Manchester United don't have a team yet. <laughs> and Everton, Arsenal, you know, some of them, they're not supporting the women's team in the same way that we do. Talking point this week, of course, in the women's game was the, the injury last week to Pauline, yeah. and the fact that there was no ambulance on standby. Yeah. Is, is that a problem within the women's game? And us City are not happy with the FA about that, are they? I've read, and I don't know if it's true, um, that apparently it's not necessary for an ambulance to be on site. If that is true, I think it's disgraceful. Um, injuries can happen in, in any sport, so for not to get pain relief or an ambulance for an hour is, is not good enough and I think that the club is absolutely right to, to challenge that with the FA. It's the divide yeah. between the men and the women. You think that's part of yeah. it or, or yeah. maybe all of it? I think all of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's disgraceful that, like you said, in a sport you've got no ambulance, no doctor, no painkilling relief. That is just atrocious and it should be addressed right so. I, I do tend to agree with you. Um, yeah. How good is this team? Is this a team, by the way, that can go all the way in this competition? We got to the semi-final last year, so one more step further, yeah, I think we can get to the final. 
I'll tell you what, I've been covering women's football now for probably nearly 10 years and when I first started out there was this huge gulf between men's football and women's football. That was from the fact that the players maybe trained one or two evenings a week, they didn't get paid, the quality of the football wasn't as good as it is now, the pitches they were playing on, they were pretty poor if I'm honest. You fast forward 10 years and you've got this professional league, the majority of the players are all professional, they all get paid, this is their living, which means they can concentrate just on football. So the quality of the football is so much better than it used to be. The pitches you can see here in City, it's state of the art, they're playing on professional pitches, which again, it helps the quality of the game. And just every aspect of the game is now more professional. And people always ask me when are men's football and women's football going to be on the same level? And the honest answer is it may never be, but women's football is growing, it continues to grow, and while it's still developing, it can only be a good thing. Six hour captain Seth Horton. And eight hill shots. Eleven. What went wrong with that then? Poor penalty. Poor penalty. Is that all you're gonna say? Very poor penalty. <laughs> What do you make of the first half then? I thought it was really good, we've played well. They've actually, the, the, the other team have played better than they did last week. They've played more defensive, but we're City, so I know we'll win. A great goal by Jill Scott, wasn't it? Oh, absolute Fantastic. cracker. She's brilliant, Jill Scott. She makes the team, she holds it together, she's like the glue. But then the team is fantastic anyway. Having said that, I thought Nikita Paris was probably the best player in the first half. She had some great pace. Yeah, she was playing really well. There were some good moves, some one-two passing and some good, oppor good opportunities. Was you expecting yeah. more in the second half? Oh, definitely. Always expecting Absolutely. more in the second half. This is City. We always want goals, but we always score them as well. <laughs> A 3-0 win on the night, 6-0 on aggregate and City safely through to the last 16 of the Champions League. A uh, good crowd here as well tonight and I think they've enjoyed it generally. I see we can get a little bit more reaction now as the players take their bow behind me. Amazing. I said, I said before it was going to be a job done. We came out, we did it. <laughs> Wait for the draw on Monday now. Uh, anywhere but Kazakhstan. There we go to all of them. We were in Austria last week. We've done Denmark last year. We did Leon last year. We all the home and away games. So you need a visa then for Kazakhstan? Apparently you don't. Apparently you don't. So that's that's good if we do pull them. But uh, yeah, I don't think anywhere. I don't think you need a visa for anywhere, uh, which is good news. Just expensive. Yeah. Absolutely. But they're worth it. They're worth it. We have a good fun. We had about 20 of us went across to Austria last week. Um, you know, great atmosphere. You know, we try and make as much noise as we can um, and try and get more people to come along to the games. Where's the final? Is it two legs or is it in one place? It's one. It's in Kiev. In Kiev. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah same as the men's, right. but they split from next year. So I think next year's it's in Budapest, I think. Yeah. Well, good luck. We'll be Thanks a lot, Cheesy. Cheers. Thanks very much. Oh,